Ted Cruz has been extremely hesitant to criticize Donald Trump in public at least, but behind closed doors he was recently quoted as saying, who am I comfortable having their finger on the button? Now that's a question of strength, but it's also a question of judgment. And I think that is a question that is a challenging question for both of them, talking about both Donald Trump uh, and Ben Carson. I think that's the wisest thing that Ted Cruz has ever said. But it did eventually get out to uh, Donald Trump, who apparently spends about 12 to 16 hours a day on Twitter. No and kidding. so he responded in a professional way by tweeting back at Ted Cruz, uh, with the period to make sure that everybody has to see it. It can't just be a private conversation between, between the two of them. Uh, Ted Cruz should not make statements behind closed doors to his bosses. I like that reference, though. He should bring them out into the open. More fun that way. Looks like Ted Cruz is getting ready to attack. I am leading by so much he must. I hope so. He will fall like all others. Will be easy because every tweet has to end with a declarative sentence with an exclamation point. He tweets uh, like I imagine Saddam Hussein would have tweeted if he had lived there. <laughs> you know? It just occurred to me as I'm seeing it. There. Will be easy. <laughs> Saddam's tweets. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, um, oh, this could be a lot of fun. Please make this happen. So, the guy who's been looking forward to it the most is Donald Trump for two reasons. Uh, number one, uh, I literally saw him tweeting out last week before any of this happened. And he, and he said uh, uh, in the past too, he's like, look, I don't attack first, I don't throw the first punch. And for <laughs> like that's his code, that's the only thing in his code, this <laughs> only one line in his code. Uh, I don't tweet first, <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> and he's like, so he's like, but I'm waiting for Ted to do it, he's going to have to do it because he's trailing me. And, and if he does it, oh, I can't wait, right. So now, for the first time, he's seen an inkling of him doing it behind doors. He's like, "Oh yes, yeah. let the tweets begin." Twitter storm, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> so, and the second part of this is that uh, Ted Cruz is actually winning right now in, in Iowa, Iowa. Mm -hmm. and so the polling nationwide is massively in favor of Donald Trump. But in Iowa, the first state where Donald doesn't want to be embarrassed and be a sure. loser. He doesn't want to be a loser in the first uh, contest yeah. we're having. Tr uh, uh, Cruz is winning right now, so he's chomping at the bit to get at him. Yeah. And but Cruz has been such a lapdog of of Trump. Like, um, Mr. Trump, oh, he's yeah. brought such important matters to the debate. Oh, I, I really think he's doing a great oh, service to the country. Well, I commend <laughs> Donald Trump for yeah. bringing attention to the immigration. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So he's like, ah, I can't attack the guy, right? But boy, in what is it possible if Cruz were to win Iowa, the bounce he'd get off of that could really propel him? Uh, past yeah. Trump. If I mean, he's and, and things change Definitely so quickly. Possible. People lose track, I think, of how quickly things change after the, the Iowa primary is done. I mean, That's you're true. And Ted yeah. Cruz has the ability to make crazy, crazy sounding things sound almost reasonable. Right? And more and than Trump. Yes, that's the scary thing about Ted Cruz. He goes, go, well, well, I'm just saying, and they're like, oh, I guess that kind of makes sense. And then a couple seconds later, he goes, that's fucking crazy, right? right? But he does have that ability to make it sound, especially to someone who's not informed. And he, he's benefiting here because before he would have come out with these statements about Muslims, about gays, about blacks, whatever. Mm -hmm. And he would have sounded crazy. But now he sounds, anybody's going to look road. reasonable. <laughs> sounds right. moderate. It's like, it sounds oh, God, moderate. yes, right. this guy is just a crazed <laughs> demagogue. Oh, we'll go with him. No, no. And, and I've said from day one, Cruz is the only guy possibly more dangerous than Donald Trump. Because while Donald Trump is full of hot air and talking about oh, the Muslims and the total ban, Ted Cruz introduced legislation this week banning Muslims in three different ways. He said if you're from a Muslim majority country, you're banned. What? <laughs> right? That's he introduced real legislation. Yeah. So, he's this like Donald Trump is the big like uh, oafus like bear, like oh, right? And Cruz is the snake in the weeds. And so, yeah. he's already doing all the things that Trump is threatening to do, and he's doing it under Cover and then, and now he's like, oh, Trump's to my right. This is fantastic. I look like the moderate. You know, yeah. I'm angry enough and and hateful enough to get the base voters. Yeah. But then I can say, hey, don't worry about. It. Yeah, Trump's crazy. I'm a senator. I'm yeah. a United States senator. I can't be crazy. Yeah. Right. And so he is that that guy's the real time bomb. So part of the reason why I love this story is because 
Maybe Trump eviscerates him like he's yeah. eviscerated everyone else. And that would be the first time where I'd be like, well, at least he did us a favor on that one, yeah. right? Because that what, tr Cruz is perhaps the real danger. One thing that I'm in a very immature way looking forward to at the next debate, which I keep forgetting if next Tuesday's debate is Republican or Democrat. Yeah, it's Republican. I know they got both. It's Republican, okay. So we know he's, he's getting primed, Trump, to attack Cruz. And the last time he was really fired up to attack someone, it was Rand Paul, and he loves to go physical, like to attack their appearance. Mm. And Rand Paul's a moderately good looking guy, he attacked his hair. Wait until he gets a load of Ted Cruz's melted candle of a face and body. He is going to tear him apart. I don't know. That's but like again, never underestimate it's like Cruz. A bleh. So but Cruz is and, and who yeah. is it? Was it Dershowitz who who picked Cruz out uh, as the the best debater? I guess he he had a had him in one of his uh, as a student in law school or whatever. Mm -hmm. And Alan Dershowitz uh, said the guy the best debater is See, without question. The Ted thing Cruz. that the so thing I, that I, I think know, is interesting. Yeah, no, about I, I, I don't, don't know how that won that out. But yeah. Just, Considering how similar I think their actual positions would be, what I think is interesting in a debating context between Trump and Cruz is that Trump gets all this credit for being like a tough guy when I personally see him as the biggest wuss in the world. I think one punch he goes down, he, he loves to say, oh, I'm not going to debate unless you give me $5 million. No, we're not giving it to you. Okay, I'll be there. He keeps backing down from the things he says. He's an actual wuss. But Ted Cruz, he tried two debates ago to seem strong and he kept doing this and looking directly at the camera and he can't sell strength. Trump, all he has is the perception of strength. But Ted Cruz looks like a whiny little child when he tries to look strong. And I think that coming out of Iowa, he can get a lot of momentum and he could probably clinch it if he could sell himself as the strong man that the conservative base desperately wants right now. They want a Latin American dictator. And Ted Cruz, while he has half of that, I don't think he can sell the dictator. Oh, so, I thought he meant he had the dick. <laughs> that, he needed, he needed, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt on that. I thought he had the taters. He needed the taters. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, I'm telling you, Trump Cruz is going to be interesting. Uh, oh, maybe so, that's a ticket. Well, that's well, I think that's what Cruz has been uh, sort of being such a wuss about. Is well, I don't want to, I don't want to like hurt your feelings. Maybe someday you'll give me a job. And that could, that could be. Look, Trump versus Rubio is not interesting. Trump's going to bat him around oh, like, a, like a kicky cat. You're going to be like this. So, oh. hey, little mousy. <laughs> hey, oh, hey, boy. <laughs> you thirsty? Right. I can't even pay back a student loan. I'm running $10 billion worth of industry. <laughs> <laughs> Is this boy still in the race? <laughs> hey, you want me to help finance your boat? <laughs> okay. Okay, Mark. Okay, okay. Nap time. Nap time. <laughs> so that's that's not a, that's not an interesting contest. Ben Carson, as Trump said, I thought Jeb Bush was low energy. <laughs> right? Until I met Ben Carson. No, no, that's not a contest. Trump cruises a contest, and so now let's get it on and see what happens. Ah, there. Tuesday. Yeah.